Hello! In the previous video, we saw that typically an IPO takes place with the assistance of an investment bank. The investment bank will carry out the legal work and determine the offering price, which we described as the starting price. In other words, the price that the shares will be made available for purchase for the very first time. In the current video, we will see how that price can be determined. So one way the investment bank might go about this is by firstly giving potential investors estimates of the price per share and number of shares to be issued. And do not expect a single price estimate, but a range of prices. For example, it will be between $30 and $40. Now naturally, some of these potential investors will express interest to buy part of the issue. These are not actual orders, but are known as indications of interest. The investment bank, after receiving these indications of interest, will start doing what is called building the book, by recording how many shares each investor is willing to buy at various price levels. And that's why this price discovery process is called book building. Depending on the reaction the bank will get from potential investors, it will adjust the estimates in the book. For example, if the number of shares covered by indications of interest is greater than the number of shares to be offered, then the bank will move towards the upper bound of the price range, in this case $40. Equivalently, if there's not much interest and the number of shares covered by indications of interest is lower than the number of shares to be offered, it will move towards the lower bound of $30. In a way, you can view what we've been discussing so far as the initial pitch to potential investors. And in case you've been wondering who these potential investors might be, you can expect a great number of them to be the investment bank's existing clients. The investment bank will reach out to them to gauge sentiment. So after the investment bank reaches out to potential investors in the manner we just described, it will take things up a notch by marketing the offering through a series of what are called roadshows. You can imagine these roadshows as a bunch of investment bankers traveling around the country with members of the company's management and giving presentations to analysts and potential investors as regards the IPO. The purpose of a roadshow is to generate excitement and attract interest in the IPO. Basically, it's a way for the company to say to potential investors, you know, we are the super cool company and you should definitely invest in our shares. Throughout this whole time, the investment bank is again, as before, gauging investor sentiment about the issue and gathering indications of interest. These indications will affect the book building process in the same manner we described before. That is, depending on the demand, the investment bank will move up or down the initial price range. Bear in mind that the offering price the investment bank will eventually arrive at might even be outside the initial price range. Now this whole time you may be thinking, how did the investment bank firstly get to this price range? This is mainly the result of the investment bank's valuation of the company, but also the company going public obviously has a say in determining that price range. In fact, it doesn't just have a say as regards this initial price range, but also the final offering price. And this makes sense, of course, as the final offering price will determine the amount of funds the company will raise on IPO day. On a different note, I'd like to say that I use this arrow over here to show that roadshows usually take place after this initial pitch to investors. It doesn't mean though that once roadshows begin, this manner of collecting indications of interest stops. The two might be happening at the same time. To sum up this video, book building is a price discovery process in a traditional IPO. Let's enhance the analysis in the following video.